So today I want to talk a little bit about distilling heads, uh, distilling towers. Um, we get this question a lot and that's really is what is the difference between the three major distilling towers? Um, being that we get this question from so many different people, we figured it's just best to answer the question for everybody, put it on the website, put it on our YouTube channel, so that whenever you need the information, it's right there for you. So, first of all, I do want to say that this is what we call our stills. Other people call them something different, uh, but as you see them, you'll maybe notice some similarities between what other people might call them. But once again, this is just what we call them. This here is our traditional moonshine pot still. Uh, it's just that, it's rather traditional. Uh, this is actually typically used for people who want to make uh, whiskey, scotch, uh, and moonshine. Um, being that it has a very, very short tower, essentially here, because it hits down a condenser right here, I mean, that's really the whole length of the, of the tower, uh, you don't get a lot of purity. So because you don't get a lot of purity, you're gonna pull over a lot of flavor, and even possibly some color from your mash, from your fermentation. That's what this is really used for. It's really used to pull flavors from your mash. So if it's that's very important to you, then this is really the way you want to go. Not going to give you much purity, but it's going to give you a whole lot of flavor. Uh, the next type of still we have is what we call our pot still. Uh, this pot still head is very similar, however, obviously the tower is a whole lot taller. This allows you to reflux. This allows you to put into your tower copper mesh and even rashing rings from the top so that as the, as the distillate passes through it, there's something for that vapor to actually collect onto. And then first of all, that copper is going to pull out a lot of those sulfates and toxins, but then it collects and drops back down and heats back up, collects, drops back down. Um, people use this still for whiskeys and things that they want to bring flavor over into, but they also use it for things that they want a much higher um, purity on, a much higher proofing on. So um, people typically use these kind of as the middleman between something you want a, a decent ABV percentage, but also a decent amount of flavor. A lot of people use these for rum, uh, because rum, uh, it's very subtle flavors typically in rum that, that really make it, uh, you know, uh, make it what it is. So um, this is what we call our two inch dual purpose. Now this is actually our Mighty Mini. This is meant to go on a three gallon can. Uh, we, actually our best seller is our two inch dual purpose. It's a lot larger than this. Our uh, water chamber here is much larger and our condenser is obviously much larger as well. Um, it's about, about twice the length. Um, You'll notice that this is very similar to our previous, the previous one I showed you. Uh, we call this our two-inch dual purpose. It is a refluxing still. So as vapor comes up the up the tower through the packing material, through the rashing rings, when it hits this cooling jacket, it con condensates and falls back down. Now, the reason that's important is I'm sure you've all heard uh, the term triple distilled. Well, triple distilled basically comes from the need to get a very high alcohol purity without getting much flavor. So people would take one of these older style um, traditional moonshine pot stills and they would actually use that three times uh, to pull out as much flavor as possible. Now when we have the water jacket here, the triple distill is essentially done for you. You don't have to do that anymore. One run and you're done. Uh, this is going to give you very, very high output. On this one specifically, our Mighty Mini, we've seen as high as 185 uh, proof. On the 2-inch dual purpose, we've seen 192 proof. Uh, very, very high purity, very, very high alcohol by volume. So if you're looking to make neutral spirits like vodka so that you can flavor it or just use it for regular vodka, this is really your way to go. Now with that, why it's dual purpose is you don't actually have to use this cooling jacket. Right now what we'd recommend is you run water into this side, out this side, daisy chain it right over to the condenser tube, and then it would come out the condenser tube on the other end. If you don't want to go that route, don't run water through here, just run water in and out. And then you essentially have the pot still like we were showing you earlier. You don't get that refluxing action. You can start pulling a little more flavor into your distillate. So those are our three different types. Um, I'm sure that there might be more, more questions. Feel free to keep them coming. Ask questions at the bottom of the video. We're happy to answer them. We really pride ourselves on quality, grade A, knock your socks off customer service. So we'll be happy to answer those types of questions and give you uh, that type of information. Really want to say thank you as well uh, for your support for moonshinestill.us as well as my, uh, milehighdistilling.com. 
uh, if it really wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be able to offer this type of information to you and our customers. So thank you so much. Happy to still in.